What's up guys, it's Virtually Chris. Today we're reviewing the Comma 3X, custom hardware dedicated to running OpenPilot, the best driver assistance system in my opinion, and one that I've driven for well over 100,000 miles. It upgrades your car's adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist systems with state-of-the-art machine learning trained on millions of minutes of human driving. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you why you absolutely need to upgrade your car with this. Let's touch on the hardware briefly. The Comma 3X has three 1080p cameras, including a narrow cam, wide cam, and a driver monitoring camera. It runs on a Snapdragon 845 and has a beautiful 6-inch OLED screen. The device is purpose-built to run OpenPilot, but let's rewind a bit. First off, why would you want a driver assistance system at all? If you've never used one before, you might not realize how much just a little bit of automation can improve your driving experience. When driving, we make hundreds of micro adjustments per minute. Moving the steering wheel left and right to stay in the lane, going from the gas and brake pedals to keep up with the car in front. It can be very tiring, especially for long commutes and road trips. Instead, imagine if you only had to monitor the cars around you and supervise a competent driver to ensure it's doing what you want it to. But you might be asking yourself, doesn't my car already come with adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist? Well, not all driver assistance systems are created equal. In fact, most give way more anxiety than just driving yourself. For example, Hondas come with Honda Sensing. In this car, steering only activates over 45 miles per hour. The wheel ping pongs back and forth, and the system randomly disengages without warning. Not to mention, it's super jerky with the gas and brakes, and doesn't detect stop cars most of the time. There's lots of technological reasons for these shortcomings, but the biggest one is how these systems are programmed. The system in your car is probably just scanning for lane lines and trying to keep the car in between them. But what about intersections or road work or old lane lines visible next to new ones? As a human, we easily can navigate these situations, but the system built into your car has no chance. But that's not the case with OpenPilot. OpenPilot uses machine learning trained on millions of minutes of human driving, specifically end-to-end -end machine learning. This means video from the Comma 3X cameras come into one end of the driving model, and out comes the path to drive the car on the other end. The fleet of thousands of Comma devices upload driving footage back to Comma's servers, where the research team uses that to train the driving model on a wide range of situations. And since humans know how to drive in many scenarios, so does OpenPilot. OpenPilot can drive for hours without any intervention, taking over steering, acceleration, and braking. It works through stop and go traffic, intersections, and even through roads with no lane lines at all. If you want to learn more about the amazing machine learning that powers OpenPilot, I'll link a Comic-Con talk in the description. You turn on OpenPilot by setting the cruise control speed on your steering wheel, and adjust the set speed up and down to change the maximum speed. To make an assisted lane change, put on the blinker, and nudge the wheel to the left or right after ensuring it's clear. To disengage the system, you can either press the brake pedal or the cancel button on the wheel. Of course, you have to pay attention at all times and you're responsible for the vehicle. OpenPilot could mess up, and if it does, you need to be alert and ready to take over. Instead of a wheel nag to ensure the driver is paying attention, the 3X uses driver monitoring to ensure you're watching the road while the system is engaged. If you're distracted, you'll hear a loud beep and the system will eventually disengage, slowing the vehicle to a stop. Like I said in the intro, I've used OpenPilot for over 100,000 miles, from the very beginning all the way to this hardware generation. And I even used it on a road trip across the country. And it really is incredible. It, it lets me take in the scenery and sights on the road, and makes road trips so much better. It's so cool how OpenPilot can do everything for you, so you can just focus on monitoring the system. It'll keep a safe follow distance and keep the vehicle perfectly in its lane. So that's it, OpenPilot on the Comma 3X. There's a few things I didn't touch on. First, installation. It really shouldn't take more than 30 minutes. I've linked the installation guide in the description if you wanna see the whole process. But really, you just pop off your lane keep assist camera, install the harness, close it up, and plug in the Comma 3X. The only thing that that video wouldn't tell you is during setup to select custom software and type openpilot.comma.ai. That installs OpenPilot on the Comma 3X so you'll be ready to start trying it out. Go on Comma's website in the description and check if your car is compatible. It's compatible with over 250 different kinds of cars, so as long as your car does have adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist, I'm pretty sure that it'll be supported. That's the review. The Comma 3X is amazing and it's extremely reliable and really just lets the software shine, which is what you want in a hardware device. If you have a supported car, you absolutely need to try OpenPilot. It'll change your life and make your commute so much better. See you in the next video. Bye.